What's up guys, Spinfirearms here, and today we're going to be talking about an awesome way to carry a backup mag in a discreet way, um, but also to ensure that you can still get a nice, even, clean draw if you ever have to use that backup mag, whether it's for a malfunction or a prolonged gunfight of some sort, which obviously we all want to try and avoid, especially when going out in public places. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't cause problems. You make a mistake, step on someone's foot, apologize, walk away live to see another day it's unnecessary to start unnecessary stuff but we're going to be talking about my backup mag specifically for this firearm right here and it is clear all the mags are cleared so there is nothing anywhere on this table having to do with a round but we're going to be talking about this product right here and i just want to say this first you should always carry a backup mag doesn't doesn't matter if you carry 17 rounds doesn't matter if you carry six rounds you should have a backup mag because things go wrong and this is from Extra Carry, um, which we're going to get into. Before I get started, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, subscribe, tell me your thoughts on this product, and I actually have a pretty interesting sh story for this, right? So I carry backup mags in all sorts of ways, depending if it's summer, if I'm at work, whatever the case may be. And it's actually interesting because I have my email and my bio on my channel, and sometimes companies reach out with stuff. Now, I don't get the biggest companies or anything like that, but I have no problem supporting smaller companies um, because I really like to see that. I like to see the growth. I like to see their products get better and better over time. So I'm all for supporting these smaller firearm 2A or Pro 2A companies. I'm all for it. But what's interesting about this product is I actually own this before I ever received it. I didn't own this specific one. As you can see, this thing is brand spanking new, but I do own these for my Glock 26s. And I have a couple of them. So I've actually, if you go back and look at a video, um, I have a video review of these already. It was a long time ago um, before I had a lot of subscribers and stuff like that. But you can find the review of the extra carry on my channel. Like I said, I will always tell you something was sent to me. But it was actually a really cool thing to have this sent to me or offered to be sent to me regardless of price or anything like that. It was just cool because I already used the product. But yes, I will take another one and I will show it off because I think it's a good quality, well-made product. And it really goes, you know, with this channel's theme of everyday carry um, and being practical, right? Being comfortable all day, making sense of what you wear with your firearm and how you carry, stuff like that. So let's get into it. So this is my work carry right here. And I pocket carry this during work in a Vetter pocket locker holster. And on top of that, I do carry a backup mag. I've carried it mul multiple ways, but I think this might be the way I'm going to start going. Now, as you can see, it fits this backup mag. No, it doesn't get rid of the whole mag. But what's nice about the design is, as you can see, it's got a clip. I have, hopefully I do, nope, I don't have my pocket um, knife in my pocket right now. But that's exactly what this looks like. It looks like a utility blade. It looks like a pocket knife. This is definitely a conceal carry oriented product, which, product, which is absolutely great. Now, what's nice about that is, not only does it look like it's a pocket knife, not only does it conceal really well, not only is the design awesome to where your mag sits just below that clip. So it allows you to be able to draw that mag evenly, smooth, and clean. This clip stays hooked onto your pants pocket. And on top of that, you're concealing it the whole time. You're not digging deep into your pockets. You're not looking for the extra mag you just threw in there. And there's a couple reasons why this really does make sense, especially for pocket carry and so on. When you pocket carry day in and day out with a backup mag, if you don't have something protecting those feed lips, multiple things will happen. Rounds will eject themselves. It just, it's part of the game. On top of that, if you're wearing work clothes or whatever the case may be, and you're doing physical activity, those feed lips are actually pretty sharp. Now they're not cutting me or anything like that, but when you have metal that's this sharp, constantly rubbing and wearing on something, it eventually will make a hole in that spot. So something like this makes sense because it's protecting that. It's also protecting the integrity of that magazine. It's helping with a little bit of protection here for smashing it or whatever the case may be, landing on it and so on. But it also is protecting something that's crucial to everyday carry and um, reliability, which are those feed lips and that feed ramp. So that's huge. That's covered as well. So like I said, I usually carry this as my backup mag. It's actually the same exact capacity as the flush mag, and that's because I have mag guts making this 7 plus 1, whereas this right here is 7 plus 1, but no mag cuts is an OEM spring. But overall, a good, solid product. I mean, to be honest, I don't think there's anything that crazy about it. And sometimes that's the best thing about a design is it's simple. It works. It does what it's intended to do. Now, when it comes to retention, pretty good. I'm not squeezing it. I'm trying to demonstrate. But draw, 
easy. I mean, it's got solid retention. It's actually pretty cool. And like, notice how when you push down, that spring pushes it back out a little bit. Pretty solid. Absolutely love this thing. Um, shout out to Extra Carry for sending it. It's a product I'm definitely going to be using probably the next time we touch on this topic or I go over everyday carry setups and stuff like that. Chances are you will see this in that setup. It's a great product, simple, easy to use. And on top of that, the owner is pretty solid for reaching out. So I got all the respect in the world for him. If we want to go over some of um, some things about it um, that was sent to me, so I just wanted to read them off. If you're looking to get something like this, securely locks in place, which we showed. It doesn't expose the rounds. I talked about that. Um, no compromise rounds. It's lightweight. That's true. I didn't touch on that. It is lightweight and it's a little bit flexible. So it's going to go with the contour of your leg, the shape of your body, and so on. That's pretty simple. I should have touched on that. That's, that's good. Ambidextrous design. That's smart. Um, fast access, like I said. Spare magazine located in the same place every time, which is your pocket. And that's pretty crucial. When it comes down to training, knowing where that is. And I know sometimes I'm a little bit of a hypocrite. I pocket carry at work. Then I go to appendix carry the second I get out of work. And then sometimes I pocket carry outside of work. You know, it's just... It's more about training and knowing where your firearm is, but I get that. If you carry in the same spot every time, your draws will be easier every single time. It's made out of carbon fiber reinforced nylon. Absolutely solid. And I know they make these for almost every model, every magazine you could ever imagine. I'm considering the material. I'm not 100% what I first paid for mine, probably around 20 or something like that. Not 100% sure on the price, but I'm sure you can find that information pretty easily. But a good, solid product. I absolutely have nothing bad to say about it. Like I said, thanks for sending it out. I love to see stuff like this. I love to see holster companies send out holsters. I love all that. Because I like to see people getting skin in the game. The more competition, the better products. The better products, the easier it is for you and I to find the stuff we need for our exact um, lifestyle. And on top of that, the more competition, prices tend to go a little lower. So that's always a great thing. I like how simple this is. That's, that's a big thing. I'm all about simplicity. I try not to over deck out my pistols or go too crazy for my carry options. I don't need a flashlight, a red dot, all this stuff, even though I do carry it on some of them. Um, I like simplicity. And this is going to take you, what, two seconds in the morning, just throw in your pocket. Very simple, very easy, flexible. Looks like it's made out of a pretty solid material. Like I said, I've carried with these before. I actually do with my Glock 26. You can see the video up on my channel. Actually pretty solid. As you can see, that's extra carry right there. Awesome, awesome product. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on this product. Have you tried it before? Would you try it? I just like how discreet it is. I like how it sits right below your pocket. So no one's going to see it, but at the same time, quick, clean, easy draw. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.